Good morning, you guys. What is going on today? I am super excited for the weather that we're going to have today. Have a long day planned of magnet fishing. But first, you guys, we have some work to do for sure. The garage is getting absolutely out of control. I can't just keep stacking it up. I have to start to make room to get both of the vehicles in the garage, you guys. I'm not kidding. It's getting out of control. So early here this morning, about 5.30, I ran outside in the garage, just threw everything in the car. And I mean everything, you guys. There's probably a good extra ton, maybe even a ton and a half, you guys. The freaking car's bottomed out on the suspension in the back. It's freaking insane. Needless to say, I had to take it a bit slow on the way here. I didn't want anything rolling around, but we got a lot of goodies back here. So let's hurry up, you guys. Let's start pulling everything out of the car. We are at the Fisher's Farm too, you guys. We are just gonna be loading up on our cash money scrap metal. So I'm gonna throw the stuff that I don't want on the pile, and there's some cool stuff in there that I know I definitely wanna keep and make some projects on it and we'll throw that stuff aside but i would love to go through everything one by one here you guys so we don't want to waste any time today because fisher's truck bed is full to the brim too so if we want to spend the day on the water we have a little bit of work to do first let's get going all right guys gloves are on ready to dig in here i know it's a small car but you fold the seats down you can actually get some pretty good cargo space in here just gotta watch out for the weight capacity we are definitely a little over that right off the bat i see a lot of stuff that i do want to keep i had it all in one big old pile in the garage so it had to get moved at one point i got about 75 percent of it in here just from the stuff that we found maybe in the last 16 months or so and check it out first thing right on top you guys big old railroad spring it's been a good while since we found one of these and i definitely threw that in the garage because this thing's in one piece you guys i'll have to check the old videos and see exactly where we found this i'm super curious you guys in terms of what you're doing right Magnet fishing. Magnet, Magnet fishing. fishing, yes. Watch this. I got something right here right now. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the size of this spring. That's awesome. This has got to be for the railroad carts or something like that. Um, That would be kind of tough. I guess like a Google search and history of the old rail here. But I mean, this has to be for the carts. This, I don't think this would be for a vehicle. I mean, this was this was meant to support some serious weight here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's super cool. You too. Pretty freaking cool find. Continuing with the theme of railroads. Check this out, you guys. Not only is it impressive that this is in one piece, which is pretty collectible and rare, the freaking rust on this thing is insane. I don't know for sure if this bent one here was supposed to be bent or if it took an impact, but either way, seeing that it's not broken, I'm gonna keep this one. Actually, you guys, I think that was from that old railroad walkway hotspot that we were absolutely slamming last year. I haven't really poked around there yet this season because I kind of got sick of throwing there, but it was every single throw. That's where I found most of my cool railroad stuff. This is wild. It's, this is the heaviest thing of the day, hands down. Hands down, you guys. Oh, we. Oh, wow, dude. I also haven't seen it one of these yet this year and this one is in pretty darn good shape you guys all right you guys we have these railroad pins let me grab one of them things here all right so what this is here is a railroad cart link and these are the pins right here you guys they would sit in there like that i'm pretty sure and they, that's how they would connect the two uh carts together you guys and probably about a hundred railroad spikes those i weren't messing with in the garage i'll deal with that in another time i just want to get all the big bulky stuff out of here like this insane train break this could very well have came from that same walkway railroad spot look at that one. Ooh, let me help you don't pinch your fingers oh i know what this is oh my gosh dude this is <laughs> no this is a train brake this is a brake oh, shoe yeah. off of a train at least i'm pretty darn sure you guys i mean i've never seen one with the ears on it I, are there supposed to be ears on those brakes you guys oh, holy gosh. cow bailey nice throw i understand that'd be something to clean up absolutely Th that'd be cool. super yeah, cool to clean up really no actually... no it's in fantastic it's shape it's in really great shape which is pretty cool because i think if you look it up on google earth it still shows it as that old railroad you guys pretty freaking crazy stuff to find there yet no doubt hopefully we can find some time to go back well, I know I have a massive anchor pile in the garage. 
only threw a couple in there just because I was worried about the weight at the end, but we're gonna throw these two aside. And I still have to go through all of the lures that are trapped in this freaking thing. There could be $50 worth of lures in there. The sucker's heavy too. I bet you I fought this a good while while pulling it up. Check out the clip of me finding this thing. That's insane. Ooh, yeah, bro. Oh, come on. Oh, there's the more on there. Yeah, I see it. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Yes, dude. Oh, no. Cha Look at that, oh bro. Listen to that. It's like a freaking maraca. Oh my good dude, gosh. Dude, we were graced. We were flip? graced. <laughs> Look at that. You guys. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. I don't count it. Eight? That one. Maybe? At, at least dude. seven. At Holy least seven. Let, let me get them and all off here, bro. Anchor. Sure, I were joking about this being like an excavator knuckle or something. The size of this darn thing does not do the weight justice, you guys. This is another one I want to look back on the video that we found this on. Insane find. What in the world is that? My goodness. It's like an engine block or something. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. The size does not do the weight on this thing justice, you guys. All right, let's take a closer look at this bad boy. What in the world is this, you guys? It's like a like a joint for an excavator or something, like a caterpillar or something. What in the world, dude? It's the pivot point for a bulldozer. I have no clue, dude. It's got to be uh, train related. Now, maybe, just maybe... These pins have something to do with it, you guys. Does this fit? I really hope we have some uh, people in the comments that have experience with railroad parts or building them. This obviously is supposed to go in there, you guys. I wish I had a scale. I gotta start bringing scales. I promise that's like 40, 45 pounds or so. Wow, dude. Holy smokes. Six in the morning, I'm sweating my keister off already. Here's another heavy one. Cash, freaking money. Let's go. Interesting one I'll set aside for now. Kind of reminds me of like a big old die. Like something that would cut threads on like a maybe a water pipe or something. All right, well that was about a third of the car. This is a workout, you guys. I was throwing a couple cool finds that was buried on this side on top over here like this crowbar. Actually, I think this is the meat hook, you guys. Found so much cool stuff over the past couple years. I forget where everything came from. Pretty freaking cool, you guys. The old meat hook. I still can't believe that's actually what this is and people used this kind of stuff back then. There could have been a couple pigs or a cow on there. Big, massive window weight. That's a major keep, you guys, especially something in this good a shape. This one's going to be tough to pinpoint where we got this from because we find these things absolutely everywhere. Just not everyone is as in good as condition as this. That's actually a pretty cool jackpot, you guys. Definitely not throwing this one in the pile. That's coming back home with me. These were super interesting to find, you guys. These little lock boxes, and I think one of them found, had the Star of David on it. I don't know if I pulled that one from the garage yet. It might still be in there, but I know I found something like that. Pretty cool. I'll have to double check that as well, you guys. That was an insane find. Honestly, one of my quote unquote creepiest finds ever you can see that lock mechanism in there pretty cool sticking right in the top of the pile like a flag the old freaking pickaxe you guys could you imagine mining some like iron ore with this bad boy no question that's what this is what an incredible find this had to have been like my first couple months of fishing because i haven't seen one of these in a long time i finally got myself a really nice condition one you guys definitely a future project super cool this i know exactly where i found you guys i found this maybe like a month ago or so freaking cool man what we got here is a freaking crankshaft and it's crazy that this thing's in one piece this thing could have been maybe like an old model t like a straight six what do you got one two three four five six 
a six cylinder, no doubt about that. Freaking cool, man. Before anyone gets hurt, let's get this fillet knife that I stuffed in the cylinder out of here. I think I'm gonna keep this one too, considering that it's still really sharp, man. I mean, you never know when you need a nice fillet knife, you guys. Just disinfect this bad boy and you could be slicing up some pears. A little bit of lucky horseshoe I see as well, you guys. This one's in really good condition. I'm surprised I even threw this in the pile and didn't just put it in my bedroom or something for good luck. Insane, man. They don't get much better than this. This looks like the freaking Colts football team logo. Major keep right here. And if anyone has been watching me since last summer, you might remember this son of a gun coming up. Freaking insane day of fishing. I couldn't believe this thing. I thought it was like the casing of like a rocket or something. Like a fallen NASA shuttle or something. Insane. And I do believe immediately after that I found that thing that looked like a warhead. At least it was shaped like that. Let's check out how badly I struggled getting this bad boy up and how hilarious it was. What in the world? Bro. What is this? A warhead, okay. dude. <laughs> yeah, right. What the heck, dude? Ooh, it's getting it's pretty low. Right. I have no idea what the heck this is. Like a smokestack or something, man. Oh, look at this. You're gonna like this one. That looks expensive. That is pretty crazy looking, you guys. Look at this thing Alex found. It's like a tube with a half. Half of it's like cut off on the top. I don't really know. Is there anything in there? Yeah, it's empty. It's just full of clams. I think it's just a fishing line, bro. I don't see none of uh, I don't see no lures, unfortunately. Not a bad find though, dude. Holy cow. Absolutely incredible weight right here. You can never underestimate these two blue boss magnets, you guys. Crazy stuff. Holy smokes, this is like another third right here. Let me get this thing out in one piece just to make it easier on me. Yeah. That was like 200 freaking pounds. Talk about some cash money. And we're starting to make a dent in the trunk here. Ooh, little shiny fishing lure. Hello, I'll take you home for sure. Oh, you're in the big steam pipe for the old steam boat. Choo choo. Oh, what the heck? Freaking brick in there. Oh my gosh, the heaviest piece yet. I don't even think I took this out of the car yet, you guys. I keep this for protection. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I think this was the last time me and Fisher went out, you guys. Talk about some freaking murder evidence, man. This is like something that you bring with when you go through the rainforest to cut like vines and stuff. The old machete. A lot of horror movies base off these things. You gotta be careful. All these railroad pieces. I feel like I'm working on the railroad. I'm sweating so hard. Well, that's the first load, you guys. I still got quite a bit in the garage to go through, but that's definitely gonna be the biggest load that I'll have to take. Got a lot of cool treasures that I'm gonna be keeping here, you guys. A lot of this stuff really is collectible and people will pay really good money for this stuff. So I can imagine after like five, even 10 years, the collection that me and the Fisher are gonna have. You just never know what you're gonna find magnificent, you guys. But man, the back seat of this thing took a beating here. We have a heck of a late spring cleaning to do. But that's it for today. I'm definitely sweating my butt off right now. And I want to get out Magna Fishing later today. So I hope you guys enjoyed sorting through all my cool stuff. Or at least most of it. There's probably going to be a part two to this. Heck of a lot of more Magna Fishing coming up here. And summer has just began, you guys. Heck yeah, I'm feeling fantastic. The garage is organized once again. I actually have room to move around here. Can get both vehicles in and there's some more space to set our magnificent finds down. We are ready to go for the rest of the summer. So we're gonna get everything ready to go magnificent for the day, but if you enjoyed today's video, leave me that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, you guys, to help you stay tuned for the next one. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your night and I'll see you guys on the next one.